With it having been 13 years since the first Avatar movie was released, we're finally getting a sequel. But the big question is, does anybody care anymore? The first Avatar was a huge success for a number of reasons. It was the perfect use of revolutionary 3D technology, the likes of which we had never seen. We were exploring a beautiful new world in Pandora, and also we were coming out of the global recession of 2008, where all anybody wanted was a bit of escapism. The movie was beautiful and fantastically made, although often the criticism for the film came surrounding its plot with many critics saying it's basically just Pocahontas in space. So with the 3D thing not really enough to carry it anymore, and four sequels all lined up ready to go, the question is, will Avatar 2 be any good, and does anybody care? These days, for a movie to be successful, it needs to make at least three times its production budget, and sometimes even as much as six times its production budget, depending on marketing costs. Avatar 2 reportedly had a budget of $250 million. Well, it's actually $1 billion spread across the four sequels, which were made simultaneously, which averages at $250 million per movie. That means for Avatar 2 to be considered even a moderate success, it would need to take $750 million at the box office as a minimum. But more than likely, they'd be aiming to surpass $1 billion. For reference, only two movies managed that in 2022 so far, and none of the Marvel movies have managed it yet, with Multiverse of Madness and Thor Love and Thunder falling just short. So just being a big movie clearly isn't enough. Of course, it's also going to need to recapture some momentum after over a decade without an Avatar movie. They filmed four sequels at once after all, so if this first one flops and nobody wants the next three, there's going to be a real problem for the Avatar franchise. So realistically, for Avatar 2 to be considered a success, we're going to need a solid plot for people to get excited about, $1 billion at the box office, and great sentiment so people get excited for the follow-ups. Avatar's sequels need to rely on more than just the beautiful visuals and 3D effects that carried the first movie. Moviegoers just don't care about that as much anymore. The era of those gimmicks has been and gone. The big thing from Avatar 2 was the underwater motion capture. The way that they capture their actors' motions underwater for the sequels has never been done before. This technology was pioneered for these films. It's impressive, sure, but is it going to carry as much gravitas for the viewer? I'm not so sure. What we really need is an emotional pull from the plot and the characters. Something that I personally think was lacking in the first Avatar movie. But without the gimmicks of the visuals compelling us to see the film, we need to know that it's going to deliver as a great movie. We need to care enough about what happens to come out of the cinema talking about the characters and the plot, not just how breathtaking the scenery was. Additionally, this film is apparently likely to run at around three hours. And considering we haven't had an Avatar movie since 2009, they really need to get us to buy back in as early as possible. The emotional connection needs to be established in the first act. They can't get away with stringing us along for half of the movie, a full 90 minutes, waiting for something to sink our teeth into. Otherwise, we'll be twiddling our thumbs and it will kill the connection to the franchise. Not only do we have to buy in early, but we have to be left wanting more. There are three more sequels after this and we have to leave the film wanting them. That said, they also can't leave us feeling like we've only seen half a movie either. 13 years of waiting, three hours in the cinema. If we feel like we've only been given half a film, as an audience, we're going to be pissed. Am I asking for too much? So, some of my maths has been misleading. While it's true that most films usually need to recoup three to six times their production budgets to be considered successful, we are looking at sequels to the biggest box office movie of all time. Avatar took $2.8 billion at the box office from a $238 million budget. 
If you take the $1 billion budget of all of the sequels from that $2.8 billion box office figure, that still leaves $1.8 billion made from a movie that cost less than 15% of that amount. The Avatar sequels have paid for themselves already. Even if they each only make $500 million, the franchise itself will be considered a success, at least commercially. Each individual movie's success will depend on how well the movie is written and how well it fleshes out the characters and the story. With James Cameron having written Aliens, Titanic, Terminator 2, and a whole lot more, and his writing partners Rick Jaffa and Amanda Silver also having worked on some of Hollywood's biggest franchises like Jurassic World and Mulan, it seems there's a good chance that these films will be written and perform well. And speaking of sequels, the Kenobi TV show has a sequel problem of its own. Should season two have Darth Vader in it? I break that question down in this video, which you'll want to watch next.